Life Preserver, DVD, Lawn Mower, 9.30 p.m. <laughs> I'm not wearing any underwear. You either? No, no, actually, I am. Yeah. Because my shorts are really. Look how. Ooh. Look at how short these shorts are. I'm glad God. I wore these underwear. <laughs> I'm glad my balls did. would be hanging out. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> Zach's out there hooting and hollering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what <laughs> tell you that? <laughs> Slowly throughout the video version, it's nobody. It just zooms in closer and closer until mm-hmm. it's just your nuts. Mm-hmm. And they're like, whoa. I guess they quit. I guess we're retiring. Yeah, yeah so 60, a little lead-in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice transition. Nice. Sixty-five episode sixty-five. A lot Feels of people good. retire then. Yeah. Because I mean, none. We're not with the way the economy's going. We're working till I don't know triple digits. We will just work to, till we die. Yeah. Just to buy some cereal. You don't have to work to a hundred. Well, imagine what cereal is going to cost. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Can't stop working, baby. Got to keep stop, going. Won't stop. Uh, we were talking about Ducktales beforehand. <laughs> we were singing the Ducktales theme song, and then. <laughs> During <laughs> during the intro, I look over Joe and Joe kind of gives me a, a, a shush. Finger, like a shush because mm-hmm. I always make noises and stuff. <laughs> and I'm not sure if it was like a sexual, like I was turned uh, on, or like no. it was he was like shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, right before, I mean, because I was going to do it too, but I noticed right before the intro played. Normally our microphones are muted and they weren't. So I went, oh, I don't want to go back and have to edit this. I'm just going, oh, <laughs> oh, oh another God. episode. God, foreigners. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, just oh, the worst people shit. People who don't speak English. Are you kidding me? Yeah. God. Just good stuff like that. <laughs> uh, did you know that we have over 25 hours of bonus content on our Patreon page? I did not. Let me know tell that. you more. And if you subscribe to us on Patreon, you have access to all of that, plus everything we do on the back end of every episode, plus a lot more. There's three different tiers. You can head over to patreon.com slash can you don't podcast. Send stuff into the show to hey guys at can you don't podcast.com. And speaking of sending stuff in, you know what we're doing today? Yeah, I have a feeling. You got your your daddy robe on mm-hmm. or whatever. I, I actually want to start calling with priest wear now. Fucking daddy robes. We should, you know, what we should start doing. We should get a little. Uh, collar, white collar. Oh, you snap it on? Snap it on for mm-hmm. that segment. <laughs> yeah, Confessions. Just, mine have to be red. Oh, over the course of time, we'll get a new one. And because it's, you know, it gets hot in the studio sometimes, it gets that mm. sweaty look. Mm. Get all yellow. Like oh. the, the little ring. And little. we could get some little boys <laughs> to just hang out oh. in their room. Eee. Oh, is that too much? That's where we draw the line? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Speaking of retiring. There's just little kids Ooh. walking around in here. <laughs> What, do you guys need me for anything? <laughs> Shut up! We'll go, let you know. Just go alter, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Doing confessions, and there's some good ones. Very excited about that. There's some really funny ones in there. <laughs> Got a lot of, you know, there's, there's some, of course, some naughty stuff, but mm. also just some stuff. People, some, there's one in particular that, now that I'm talking about it, that I'm thinking of, it's just so fucking random and funny to me, and it's about two sentences long. Mm. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, you ready to just get the show rolling? Yeah, I feel like if there's anybody left listening after that after, after came in kind of hot there. Well, these little boys are going to be listening. They don't have a choice. Yeah. They're locked in here with yeah, us. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Zach! <laughs> hey, shut up. Start the show already. You shut... Ow! You shut your mouth. Ow! Not now. You get it. <laughs> would you we rather... Want some peanut butter. <laughs> we have a would you rather for today. Do we? Mm-hmm. And it's not, you know... It's on the safe side, Mm. but it's a fun one to ponder nonetheless. Would you rather be able to survive falls from any height? Mm, Okay. Okay. Or be bulletproof? Mm. So two kind of superpower situations here. I guess being able to survive falls is the only way I'm getting in a fucking hot air balloon. Yeah. Like that's easy. So if I ever had the, I don't know, had the... Uh, on a, on a whim, decide to go up and risk my life in a hot air balloon. If I can't, you know, if I can't die by falling out, fucking at least I know I'm surviving. Can you imagine if you got shot though and died? <laughs> You're like, I finally go on in in a hot air balloon, and then you get shot. And, <laughs> and die. the hot air balloon guy's like, "Hey, yeah. look at me!" Yeah, and and like, he just Aw. shoots you, shoots you in the foot. You're like, worried you about dying, falling, you know, like mm-hmm. crash landing and dying, and mm-hmm. then you get shot. Mm-hmm. So maybe you should have chosen the bulletproof. Oh man, there's a. <laughs> I think I know what I would pick. Okay. Well, uh, the new travel options, if you can't die by fall damage, uh, you just get in a fucking cannon and go to the grocery store. Yeah. So that's good news. Well, you could still explode, couldn't you? 
<laughs> yeah, well, you know, they're the ones that they, they shoot you. How fun would that be if that's how you got around? Yeah. Like, hey, honey, like, oh, God damn it, I forgot the milk. And you go put your little little circus cannon helmet on. It's got like, you know. Well, why do you need a helmet if you can survive <laughs> yeah, it? fuck me. That's just style points. Aerodynamics. It, yeah, yeah. It has to have like like cool stars on it and oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to. Plus, it'll get, yeah, mess your hair up for just getting blasted out of cannons without helmets, right? Well, then you get helmet head. Ugh. I know. I I mean, I grew up. I grew up with hat hair. I know what that's all about. <laughs> Think about what a mind fuck that would be if you were at the grocery store and you're walking out, and like in the distance, you just hear, <laughs> and then and this body just <laughs> and just slams into the side of the building and stands up. Well, so I was <sighs> dust so, stuff off. Yeah, but the, <laughs> forgot the milk. You know how it is, right? What I unbuckle my helmet. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Wife was on me about the milk, so I had to come back. <laughs> Here I am. Um, I was I was gonna ask you about that, and you and you said it. Mm. You can survive a fall, but mm. does being shot in the side of a building does that count as, as a, a as fall? fall damage? That to me, that's like that's a slam into the side of something. But if, what if does you just hit? The, what if you just hit the parking lot? Well, but I'm is that saying, a fall or is that a slam? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like a fall, you don't fall into the side of a building. You crash into the side of a building. <laughs> yeah, just remind right? him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, just reminded me of your what? Yeah, when you my were, stroke. You were talking to me. <laughs> yeah. <And> then, <laughs> hey, John. What? You just go what? <laughs> then, like for no reason. I'm pretty sure that I had a stroke. That was the kind of the same one. It reminded me of it. Yeah. When I was like, yeah. So if you hit the button, you hit the one. You're like, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess fuck me, huh? Dynamite. Fuck that <laughs> dynamite conversation, Brian. Yeah. Loving it. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. But that, that's. I mean, that's just falling sideways, <laughs> right? I mean, we're getting into semantics here. Zach, what do you think? I think even when you smash into a building, it's kind of like that you're not falling, falling anymore. Well, I, I don't know. I you think can't you're fall sideways, can you? Like you know. fall. Gravity doesn't. Gravity doesn't take you to the side of a wall. Gravity pulls you down. Yeah. It's an impact thing, though. So if you can survive impacts, yeah. maybe you can just. But take it just it says anywhere. it just says falls. Okay, then Brian's probably right here. If yeah. You, yeah, but if you trip and like fall into a shelf, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, gravity's that's gravity pulling you down. Well, the other thing is too, so you never of. come down. <laughs> you just go on forever, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of the semantics realm and just and just call it fine. <laughs> okay, Look. you get to you you get to get shot and whatever you hit, you're surviving it. Okay, okay, that's that one. What about bulletproof? What are the benefits of being bulletproof? Outside of just being a military you can go to school without being worried. <laughs> Yikes. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm the asshole. <laughs> there's, two people, of them. there's people Yee. shooting up schools, but you're and, talking and, about and I'm it. I'm talking about it, and I'm the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Going hot with the buttons today over here. Yeah. You're, you're allowing me to, and I like that. I've touched on some pretty interesting <laughs> subjects. I'll, so I'll tell forth. you what you're going to get if you're bulletproof a fucking great education. Yeah. Yeah, F- fantastic. <laughs> You're gonna be able to I'll make be- it through all, make it to all your classes yeah. alive and come out, mm-hmm. and that's great. Even go to college without worrying about anything. Right, you can be the only person in school. I'll just stay in school forever. <laughs> yeah, think about yeah. Oh man, never mind. I was gonna say a, it's, it's a terrible thought. We're not even gonna stay here. I was thinking a school shooter that's okay. bulletproof and just how fucking oh. terrible that would be. Well, I mean, I've always thought that. Like, why wouldn't someone? Why do they go in there? Without, because like, yeah, like just dress up in arm. No, let's not get into that. <laughs> like, you idiot. Moving on. If you really wanted to kill some fucking kids, <laughs> well, I that's what the you ki- do is that's the kind of shit I think about all the time. Like, yeah. why is there? It's, never mind. <laughs> um, but outside of like just wanting bullet, but like, you have to be a naughty, naughty boy. A yeah. naughty boy to benefit from really being bulletproof, right? That was my thought. That's why I think it's an easy decision for me because like, how many times have I been shot? Mm-hmm. Zero. How many times have I fallen down? A lot. Quite a bit. I've never died from falling down, but like, I would like the idea of skydiving. I like, I want to go skydiving, <laughs> but there's, in the back of my mind, there's always like, parachute mm-hmm. might not open. Well, the best thing about, you could just skydive out of a commercial airliner. Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole thing. Like, <sighs> the plane's going to crash. You'd be like, I'm fine. And you open up the emergency, <laughs> just jump Dude. out. Or think about just like, you guys get your earphones in, you listen to whatever, DuckTales theme song, reading a book. And the fucking plane's on fire. Mm-hmm. And you're like, Shh. well, you can still burn in it, but that's the thing. Okay, got, okay, okay, not yeah, on fire. Yeah, but it's crashing, and everyone's yeah. panicking. There's like prayer, <laughs> prayer circles. And you're like, Shh. 
God damn it. Shut up. This is a good part. In it's the, a good part. You're sitting there reading your book. This is when Launchpad, oh, Launchpad McQuack. Always, yeah. always a good, he's always crashes. He never <laughs> lands. Yeah, he's uh, crashing. But is that falling or do you guys have to wait to the last second and you just jump out of the airplane? Well, like, that's fine, the, fine. That's the whole thing. Like yeah. gravity's pulling you down. So is that, but you is could that a just, fall? You could crash inside of a building good <laughs> lord you dude are, god damn it. i'm not hey. just so just so i'm, <laughs> so I'm not intentionally i'm not intentionally it's not like i planned it, this <laughs> what do we got we got we were uh, talking about ducktails we, we got, got altar boys foreigners altar boys, boys 9-11, 9/11 and, school shootings. and school shootings this is great and ah, yeah. how long has the show been going 10 minutes, <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> please, please don't make that the title of this show <laughs> that's the that's the four things across the front <laughs> Alter Boy, 9-11, Foreigners, school shootings. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> like, it was hmm. fun doing this with you guys until yeah. the end here. Yeah, thanks for being or sticking around. I don't know. I feel like anybody that's listening to this show can <laughs> handle it, right? Of course they can. That's why they're here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Surviving Falls just seems like a, like a cool trick, too. Hey, 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 Joe, do the, do the thing. You're like, okay. And you just take the elevator up, top of the condo, and be like, do all the right, thing. you're like, ready? Okay. And jump off. and yeah and it says you survive i mean you get hurt are you just like you just perfect condition or you just like you're a ball and you now you're just like a puddle that has to stay alive you could i mean you could now you're completely paralyzed yeah which i feel like your body your body just bounces not bounces back like literally bounces back but like it you know you bounce (laughs) back pretty well jumping out of jumping off of shit in those like those bouncy balls it's like all all the way inside of (laughs) <laughs> or like that what a fun game well if the building's on fire mm-hmm. you just jump out yep get out of there they, your fire department's like jump on the trampoline you're like i you're don't like, need it you're like just get the fuck out of the Whoa. way what Whoa. if i hit one of you guys i'm living watch this shit <laughs> no, he's like believe me i'll i will be fine how you're 300 <laughs> stories in the air just believe me you have a megaphone go get the fuck out of the way <laughs> save somebody else <laughs> please move on I'm fine. <laughs> that conversation turned explain No, it. you're not fine. The building's on fire. It's like, I fucking know. <laughs> Believe <Move>. me. <laughs> They're like, sir, you're you're just in a you're in a weird <laughs> you're mental shocked. state. You're in you're shock. shock. No, I <laughs> believe me. I'm shocked. I've never. You, I'm just shocked. You won't get out of the fucking way. <laughs> God, I will be fine. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Megaphones, <laughs> like, <dude>, feedback. <laughs> God, did you hold it off to the side? You're like, God damn, these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, I said, <laughs> <laughs> get out of the fucking way, <laughs> sir. <laughs> no, right here on the bullseye. God damn it. <laughs> Have like an emergency wingsuit so you can get away from people trying to save you. <laughs> oh, I like that. See, that's yeah. the thing. Those wing suitors. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing here. So I've watched. There's a guy I used to follow. He died. There's a guy I used to follow on Facebook. He he was like he was a Red Bull guy. Oh, and so he would jump and he would go through oh, like yeah. the arches the and right along the thing. Shit. Ooh. Um, that's the best. So that's. Let's say you crash into the side of a, a mountain. Is that technically? Does that? Is that Wait, fine? Is that a fall? I mean, I think anything I going think so. down. Okay, yeah, I think it's a fall because if. You guys know how much I want to fly. <laughs> oh, do you I? Know? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. idea that I could figure out a way to fly some way and then not die. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm taking that all day. You can, pr- in the, the rate at which you could progress, like motorsports, knowing you weren't going to die. Mm. You're like, hey, will you try a qu- I'll try a fucking five of them. Mm-hmm. I'll give a sure. shit. Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? No, get the fuck out. Just, you know, put your helmet on and, it, and then just yeah, you, wick the it. Tom Cruise Mission Impossible <laughs> thing off the jump. Maybe the best stunt pilot or stunt oh, double of all time. It's real footage yeah. every single time. <laughs> I'm good. Cut. Cut. We got it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Holy one, shit. One take Tony is your name. God, the CGI is looking fucking real these days. Crazy. No, it is real. That's Joe. Yeah. That's Joe. It's crazy shit. It's one take Tony. I was there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And the bulletproof thing, it's like you have to, yeah, you just have to be an asshole to benefit from it. I mean, or in the army. Like you, you can are you be calling a, kids that are... <laughs> stop it. Uh, <laughs> like bulletproof. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> So, I uh, calm down. There might be a like going to I know going to in the room like being in the military and going on some mission. Like you would be the best. You can still get blown up, but you just walk down the fucking street. Kamikaze pilot? Uh, yeah, that's not bulletproof, is it? <laughs> oh, sorry. I was going back to crash. <laughs> yeah, you like were. you could just crash into a boat. 
it sinks and you just swim away. Oh, you swap back. I was like, that's yeah. not a fucking bullet. Like, yeah, it's a big one. It's a big fucking bullet. Yeah. A big manned bullet. Man bullet. Uh, yeah, this one, yeah, just falling. I'm going to get out rid of the fall damage. Like, I, there, there, there'll be a situation, let's say you're at a country concert and you want to be bulletproof, you know, like, you, uh, uh, the, damn it. There, there are special times when being bulletproof would be really beneficial. Because how many times are you putting yourself in a position where you might fall and die, mm -hmm. but you could go to a concert mm -hmm. and wish you were bulletproof? Right. Mm. So there are times when it would be <laughs> beneficial. Be great. Yeah. <laughs> you're just like, what the fuck's a big deal? Like everyone's running out. <laughs> yeah, I think you're just you're like, sitting. Encore. Come on. Play one another song. More song. <laughs> one more song. <laughs> just you. <laughs> just you in a field of chaos. One more song. <laughs> well we got 65 episodes that's good yeah dude this this title now it's five just five different little <laughs> phrases long it just keeps going They're like why did they do this and it's just all of the crazy offensive things you say it's like 20 long all right well we're 15 minutes well, in i'm not you're being funny we're just you, bunching well the your thing dicks. is i'm not uh we're just bunching your dicks we're taking them all and just bunching them just together said? I meant to say punching. Like I, I said, bunch. I'm just referring to things that have happened. I didn't do these things. Yeah, right. You're not. The, you're not the bad one. Yeah, yeah. You're just saying it would have been just, beneficial. I'm just saying. How's that bad? These things happened. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, and quite a bit. No. Get mad at the. <laughs> get mad at the priest. Hate the player. Not me. Not, hate the player. Not the game. I feel I'm like we need. One. A, we need a cricket sound effect back there. Yeah, <laughs> you do? it's somewhere. Yeah. I'm not the one diddling your kids, <laughs> right? So don't don't fucking blame me. You know what I mean? There's got to be uh, applause. No, I don't have any booing. That's a bummer. Uh, I got this one. There you go. <laughs> does that does that work? <laughs> All right, let's move on. Was to that compassionate? <laughs> yeah. Here you go. All right. What are you thinking about? Let's get into it. Okay. Hey. Hey, what's up, babe? What are you thinking about? Ah, uh, you know, nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about a lot of shit. What are you thinking about? If you subscribe to us on Patreon, you heard Pepper last week uh, roasting us, uh, making fun of us. That which was a blur. Yeah, which was a lot of fun. She did a really good job making fun of us. But uh, along with that, when she was making an appearance on the show and outside in life, she's just getting older and she keeps bringing up that she's going to have her driver's license soon. She turns 13 in November. In Idaho, you can drive when you're 15, which, you know, thinking back about me getting my driver's license when I was 15, <sighs> like, what the fuck? Taking driver's ed when I was 14? And <laughs> what? That's so young. So young. Like, look at her. I'm like, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, in your two years from now, there's no miracle between now and then. <laughs> like, Listen, I love you, and you're smart, and you got all that, but like, as far as life goes, yeah, trusting you and just driving around other idiots? You're driving around in a weapon? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> driving around in this metal fucking rocket with a bunch of dumb idiots, mm -hmm. and you're an idiot, and everyone's just like, let's go do dumb shit? There's a bunch of yous on the <laughs> yeah. road. And they, all, and they all have equally great ideas. Yeah. Like, let's go to this place. We, nothing bad can happen here. Yeah, and we're out on the road with them. Yeah. So anyway... Her talking about getting her driver's license reminded me of getting my driver's license. And that it reminded me of a really funny story of one of my really good friends, Josiah. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if this is the same because I didn't attend. I wasn't bouncing around between driver ed classes. Did you team up with somebody? Is that like a normal thing? Uh, I had, yeah, there was a kid in the back seat I, when I was driving. I think is that what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> um, I think like the privatizing driving lessons is a lot more popular now than it was back when we were getting our driver's license. Like okay. we what? were just all uh, like you can you can hire somebody to come to, like do one on one driving lessons oh. with you. And I think that's a lot more popular way to do it now. Do the schools even do it? I don't even know. I don't think they do. Yeah, we we go to the school auditorium and sit down with all your friends that were old enough to to drive that coming school year. <laughs> One of the teachers at our high school was the driver's ed teacher. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all of our football coaches were driver's <laughs> ed teachers. Yeah. Just looking for a little extra little extra side hustle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was like they were just scouting side. for the team. You're like, oh, look out for that. Yeah. Like seeing how fast your reaction look, time lead is. Foot Larry. Yeah, we could use him on the track team. We got a little kick. Yeah. We got a little kick. <laughs> He's like, I'm just kidding. Ooh, look at those reflexes. That's pretty fast. You, you trying out for the football team this fall? 
what? <laughs> um, so we're all in the auditorium, and uh, my buddy Josiah and I were both older for our grade. We would have our birthday in the summer heading into mm. the school year. So we were able oh, to get a you truck. were really old. Yeah. Well, yeah. Old, like, the cutoff day, I believe, as my mom tells me, heading into kindergarten, the cutoff day was my birthday. <laughs> And mm. so they could have either pushed me ahead really young or held me back and been disappointed. Oh yeah. Cause you have a late, you have a late, late birthday. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. yeah. Cause there was always the kids that were like September, October birthdays that were older. Mm-hmm. And there was kids that were like July. Yeah. Who probably should have been in the next grade down. So I was driving as going into my freshman year of high school. You oh wow. Cool. How fucking cool is that? My Super. car wasn't cool. Uh, well, I think an '84 white Subaru hatchback. Oh yeah, yeah. With the four wheel drive button, you could push when you were moving, which was a big deal. Is it I, true? Is it true that all Subaru drivers collect ninja swords? Did you have ninja swords? I didn't have any ninja oh, swords. You ruined then, my study. <laughs> well, just I mean, not really. I'm just one. Did you have a a, a cage in the back with your dog? No. Nope. Oh, you that. ruined the study again. Didn't have didn't have a caged dog in there. So anyway. <laughs> Driver's license, paired up with my buddy Josiah, because we're both old enough for heading in blah, blah, um, I had had some driving practice, like you said, in a small town, and my mom would take me, and my dad would let me drive the car between like our two towns for three miles, as I was getting closer and closer to taking... So they're, they're letting me drive the f- family around when I'm 14? That's crazy. What the fuck is happening? But no one died, so I guess it worked out. So anyway, uh, Josiah, for whatever reason, he is... One of the smartest people I like that you will ever meet. I mean, me for sure, but anybody. He's so fucking smart. Like aerospace engineer, graduated, I believe, top of his class mm. from John Hopkins. Uh, like full ride aerospace engineer afterwards. He's already retired. Jeez. Like he's he's all set. Like he's so he's my age. Uh, I'm just struggling to get by, <laughs> and he's fucking retired and built his own Earth ship into a mountain to avoid paying any bills. So all the <laughs> money he made went straight into savings, and he's done. So good job. Fuck yeah. <laughs> However, he's a, he's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Like we, we go to trivia. We win every single mm-hmm. time. Like I'm on his team. We break the record. Like a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, we went and we broke the record, which was previously set by us for the most correct. And it wasn't me. You say us. Yeah. You that's what him. I'm saying. Yeah. I just sit there and I go, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, every, right. Yeah. That's it. it. It's each round you get like a free pretzel. Well, that's it. Mm. If you win that round. You're just there for the food. From there for the pretzels. And in the, in the glory. And if there's any questions about Mortal Kombat. Mm. So, uh, get over here. Where's but, that pretzel? Yeah. And he's also, finish it. <laughs> he's also, <laughs> he's also a huge idiot when it comes to certain things. Cause he's autistic. Mm. Um, I mean, we knew that growing up. He didn't know until later. He's diagnosed like only five years ago. And I was like, yeah, you're fucking autistic. Because mm. he actually, he met Ezra. Like when Ezra, they started hanging out and he goes, I'm a lot like you. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, are you sure a- it's uh, Ezra's yours? You- <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. It looks a lot like me. Is he, is that a Forrest Gump situation? Is, is he- only time will tell. Small. <laughs> 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 so uh, I'm just gonna speed up a little quick here. So uh, he's not good at driving, and he's terrible. And he's like, he's having a really hard time. He keeps fucking shit up. I'm in the back seat, and it got to the point where I would, when it was my turn or his turn to drive, I would get in the back, and as a joke, I would put sit in the middle and put my lap belt on. And I'd grab the shoulder belts from other both sides <laughs> and then put those over me. <laughs> so I'd have like a what one, two, three, three, four, one. like a four point have three yeah, three point, but then you have the like all the bars are coming, you know, the straps over mm. the shoulder. It's just like a it's basically a straight jacket. And I just sit in the back and laugh. Like you're at a in a monster truck. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so uh, on this particular drive, we get we're getting towards the end of completing driver's ed. And he he needs to really crush this one. He needs to get really high marks. Well, he's in a monster truck. He's got to crush it. So he, he's doing great. He hasn't fucked anything up. He hasn't like the teacher hasn't had to say anything to him about like rolling the stop sign or getting too close to that car or like trying to make him park and he'd hit the fucking curb. Um, like he just wasn't that good at driving and he's doing a great job. And we are heading back to the high school, um, you know, to turn it in and, and be done for the day. And we are two blocks away from the high school. And I'm sitting back in the straight jacket <laughs> <clears throat> and we're approaching this intersection. And my friend, our friend Tristan lives at the intersection and he has a, um, a lawnmower that would go pretty fast and across the street. A riding from, lawnmower? Yeah. yeah. It would go, wait, I don't know why it went so fast, but it was a fast one. So when his parents were out of town, we'd always take it and fuck off. And souped it up. And there's a mound of dirt. That we would take it and like ride it up and like barely like try and jump it. 
So we're heading to the intersection. With a blade on? <laughs> yeah, the whole, th- I mean, no, <laughs> whatever. I actually don't even remember. It could have been. But he, uh, it was at a party and it was just a little bit ago. So we're driving and I wasn't even trying to fuck him up. And we're driving and I go, oh, I was like, I was like, there's that, <laughs> there's that dirt mound. <laughs> there's that dirt mound that we jumped on that lawnmower. And he turns and goes, where? And goes, <laughs> right through a stop sign. <laughs> oh, I thought he was saying he going through the mound. <laughs> He goes, where? And looks to the left and just goes, and blows right through a stop sign. And the lady driving just goes, oh, and then gets her little clipboard out. (laughs) And he was so mad at me. He was so mad. How's that your fault? Well, because I don't know. You distracted him. This is your fault. I'm sitting in the back. He's like, he's autistic. We jumped a lawnmower on that dirt mound. He's like, Where? He's supposed to be used to distractions. You were <laughs> helping him be I'm better. I'm sitting in the back with fucking all the straps on me. And like one hand barely <laughs> makes it up. I'm like, we jumped in. Like, remember when he jumped? A <laughs> lot, we jumped a lot more on dirt mound. Was he in that group that jumped? Or so he didn't, he was not there. Okay, so he didn't know what you were talking about. No, I guess pointed. So he looked over okay. at the mound to see what. What we were jumping a lawn? Which I mean, I would have looked too. Of course. Like what the fuck did you just say? Yeah, you jumped a lawnmower on what dirt mound? <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty sick when you're 14. I love the <laughs> I love the the driving instructor. Oh yeah, oh you just clipboard up, <laughs> yeah. and he's just like like in the rear of your mirror, just fucking staring at me, <laughs> making a final one turn into the parking lot. <laughs> He's a hundred percent killed it. There was one turn. There was one left turn left. Yeah. And he used his blinker and he got up into the parking lot and fucked that one up for him. <laughs> but anyway, he, he did find and pass the test because, you know, that was just, that yeah. was my driver's ed story. So I was thinking about that when Pepper keeps talking about driver's ed. So what were your guys' first cars? I don't know, but it's funny. You said one left turn left. <laughs> Thank you. English language. I know. Edited like, it. Left. One left turn left. Right. <laughs> one left turn left. Right. right wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Fuck. What were you? What was your first car? Uh, my first car. Yeah, it was a 1988 Mazda 2200 pickup. Fuck yeah! That my uncle fixed up and gave to me. I think that's cooler than mine. Uh, Zach, I had a 92 Grand Prix. That's your first car? Yeah, I saved up a lot of money. That's awesome. That. Yeah, good for you. How long did it last? Uh, until I killed it. <laughs> uh, it lasts about three, four years. Yeah, but I, I really tried to oh, hurt it. I, and bet I had to you rebuild did. the engine. Uh-huh. But my driver's ed story is real simple. I have big feet <laughs> and so mm. they would just randomly say hey hit the gra- hit the hit the brakes uh-huh. you know just randomly and for some reason my in this little car they had us driving mm-hmm. my size 16s would hit both pedals <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, it, and they did it like four <laughs> times in a row and it, so it would just surge and break <laughs> and they were like he like, yeah. never seen that before he's oh, like yeah. what are you doing <laughs> what are you, can you stop can you don't <laughs> yeah so i don't think i passed that day <laughs> that's right. so funny oh good stuff i don't have any oh, i didn't do anything, anything stupid but i do remember like I wish I would have had one of my, well, probably not. I was going to say when I had a, a friend in the back because it mm-hmm. was someone I didn't know. Mm-hmm. But I do remember I was 15 and a half because it was in the summertime before school when I started driver's ed. And we show up on the first day and they're like, all right, um, group, whatever. We're going driving. And I was in it. And I remember mm-hmm. like, we, oh. j- we just started. I just got here. What? Yeah. Because I hadn't driven in... T- I I'd sat on my dad's lap and like steered the truck and driven in the country and mm-hmm. stuff, but never on a road in traffic. Mm-hmm. And I remember one time practicing with my mom. We were going down this big double or triple hill. And I'm coming down the hill and I see a, a car come up to a stop sign. And I... I like hit the brakes on the hill on the way down. Yeah, just because I was like, oh, no, no, another car. Oh my god! god. So like, brain. We, I stop. Yeah, it was like one of those brain like, oh, what? Are, what's yeah. happening? So there, there could have been a pile up of because <laughs> you're coming down this mm-hmm. hill, and I remember, and I just remember like, what am I? What am I doing? Yeah, what the fuck? Because I was 15. Mm-hmm. Like, I, are you kidding me? 15 years old, <laughs> driving in traffic. I know it's fucking. I cannot uh, imagine. Pepper in a couple of years, dude. Teaching what? my daughter to drive was the scariest thing. In I my know. Whole life. I almost she, just don't even want to. You know the little white lines on the side of the road that's like you're not supposed to pass this because mm-hmm. it's beyond the shoulder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where we just hung out the whole time. It was good times. <laughs> we hung out where the nails are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hanging out with the nails. Wow. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Well, no, no, I lost it. <laughs> no. Well, tails. If, if you think <laughs> of it, yeah, <laughs> duck tails, <laughs> <laughs> dude. 
At 15, I cared more about watching DuckTales. <laughs> Me yeah? too. Oh, no. What I was going to say was the the truck that I had, the little Mazda. When it would get, when it, winter would roll around, it was a stick shift. So I, uh, I'd pull up to a stop sign. And if I, if I let off the throttle, oh. um, it would, it would just die. It was so cold. So I'd have to work the throttle and the clutch <laughs> to keep it running. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm at a stop sign just going, <laughs> you know, it's like rocking back and forth. And as someone who was just learning how to drive, Yes. I remember, it was like, this is a fucking nightmare. Because traumatizing, winter, yeah, mm-hmm. winter, especially like if you were on a if you were on a hill. <laughs> I remember thinking like, if I ever up and end up in Seattle, I'm fucked because some of those hills. Yeah, you're done. They're just so steep. When I mean, you're fucked, no matter what car you have. And it was <laughs> some of those. The, hills. And the problem was, is like you could have a a stick shift, and it's hard enough to do that. But when it's like you had to keep the throttle going, or else it was going to die. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what do you do? Cold and icy, and I'm sure the heater wasn't great, so you're all bundled up. Oh, yeah. You barely see out of your yeah. snowsuit. <laughs> I remember my dad friggin' he, I remember one of my birthdays, he upgraded the sound system. Nice. And it, it wasn't like an amazing sound system, but it was like better than the one. It was like, it was so fucking cool. <laughs> and it's because I'd just gotten Kid Rock's see, I think it was, so it was 1998. Whatever that one, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, let's get out. Uh, are you ready to hit some confessions? Sure. All right. Well, we'll do it as soon as Zach plays it. Well, we uh, confessions. Oh, sorry. Confessions. I was just gonna say, do we want the kids to be out of the room for these, or oh, the, no, they, the altar boys? They can stay in. I'm, they've done plenty. Okay. They've sinned too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We all know that. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're uh, sinning right now. <laughs> as we speak. Uh, kicking things off with a medical confession. Mm. These are always good. Said uh, greetings to my two favorite numb nuts. <sighs> I'm not calling Rude. you daddy because I'm a couple years older than both you fuckers. And that's fair, but scientists. I mean, science is doing some weird shit. How do you know we're not your daddy just because you're older? Yeah. Okay, so a couple years ago, I had to have my bladder scoped to check for some stuff. <laughs> So, I would love if a doctor was talking to me like that. Yeah. Comes in, he's like, "Hey, what's up, fucker? Yeah, we got some stuff. We gotta <laughs> see. Hey, we gotta. Hey, what's up, fucker? We gotta scope your bladder. <laughs> so some stuff we gotta see. I'm like, okay. Uh, Thanks, right. Doctor McSizzer Cuddy. Um, no, no big deal for me because I've had a vasectomy previously, which meant my junk being displayed in a room full of people was old hat. Although this time was fewer people. And much more embarrassing for two reasons, both of which I do not blame on myself. Firstly, the nurse that prepped me was kind of a looker. Can I jump in really quick? Yeah. I had a vasectomy previously, which meant my junk being displayed in a room full of people was old hat. What does old hat mean? Oh, like you've already done it before. Easy peasy. Yeah. Already been through this before. Okay, because on the way here, on the freeway, I'm driving here, and there was a van that said old hat ministry, or... uh, oh. Something like that. Okay. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> How old is this hat? How, why is this hat so important? Yeah. <laughs> but it was like a church van yeah, or it's, something. It's old hat. It's okay. Hat. It's already I, happened. That's weird that, because I'd never heard that phrase. And then so, I hear it <laughs> everywhere. It's you're like, what? Yeah. How many old hats have I been missing? <laughs> so it's it an old hat. But. Yeah, it is. But he, not that guy. <laughs> uh, so it says, firstly, the nurse that prepped me was kind of a looker. She mm. was a real perky and Ooh. friendly brunette with some sexy tattoos Oof. that I didn't mind working on me. The prepping involved scrubbing my manhood down with an iodine solution. Well, she did something I considered kind of mean. Since it was summertime, she cranked the AC in the room up to nearly frigid. If you're a guy and you have been swimming, you know what I'm I'm referring to. Uh, And I did not feel like I was able to fully express myself. (laughs) Zach. (laughs) 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 That was a perfect two laugh. I I don't think they'd be able to hear that in the show. I want to make sure we got that in. He (laughs) said, (laughs) <laughs> it's like textbook. It was great. <laughs> All that aside, the doctor arrived for the procedure, and the scope they use is a black flexible camera that goes down your pee hole and Ugh. looks like you could shoot bowling balls down it. So after a shot of lidocaine down my one eye, Big Jim and the twins was ready to choke the thing down. <laughs> Here's where the fun begins. In order to scope the bladder effectively, they must inject water to inflate it to see all sides. <clears throat> An interesting feeling. Everything looked fine, and he didn't see anything wrong, so it was time to finish up. So he pulls the camera out. Mind you that my bladder was filled to the brim with saline. One thing he had neglected to tell me was to clench after they removed the camera scope. This meant that because my bladder was so, f- so full, once the thing was out, I hosed everyone down. 
The yes. good looking nurse, the doctor, myself, and the tray of instruments got hosed like someone was holding a leaking water balloon. <laughs> I can picture it. <laughs> yep. I stopped the flow only after the damage was done. The perky, good-looking nurse uh, took it like a pro, turned her back to us, and... and She'd been used to golden showers. Yeah, yeah. and settled into... Uh, the doctor was like, like Dr. Gold Shower. Uh, <laughs> the perky nurse, like a pro, turned her back to us and settled into gathering up all the instruments, but I could tell she was doing her damnness to keep her shit together. If I had not been mortified, I would have been died laughing too. My face might have been, must have been red as a tomato. The visit was over after a brief consult with one uh, uh, consult of what he saw, but it was hard to concentrate with him sitting there with a damp lab coat. <laughs> and now that just happened, you know, happened swimming through my head. So have that fun. Uh, they better have gotten a good laugh out of that later because of the effort it must have taken to keep a straight face. Thanks for the laughs, asshole. God, as soon as you leave the room, they're just like, <laughs> <laughs> they hear what we just heard from Zach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, okay, we'll see you. We'll see you in six months. Okay. And like the door latches. <laughs> <laughs> you you walk out to go make your uh, your next appointment mm-hmm. with the people. You just hear them laughing behind you. I can't believe he pissed all over oh like God. through the door. Go, okay, okay, and they're calming themselves. Okay, okay, they walk out and they're perfectly professional again. I don't no, know. That would be embarrassing. <clears throat> maybe I'm maybe I'm just uh, called me old hat. Yeah, call me old call me old hat. But like <laughs> you start using it in weird places, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, dude, that 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 soup was so old, old hat. <laughs> That's not how that mm. how that works. Um, I still don't know what it. <laughs> uh, you explained it to me. I still don't. Mm, um, the mm. idea of like a really attractive l- looking nurse, uh, like scrubbing down y- your dingus. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, it really. As far as like medical procedures go, did you ever get a boner when you were getting a physical though? Well, no, but Guys? it was a dude. Uh, okay, you never had a girl give you a physical. No. Zach, you no. did sports. No, no boners. No, but it was- I had the same doctor my whole life. Man, yeah, I've done bun boner during fucking uh, doing the physicals before. You've had a boner? Yeah, I didn't mean to. I was like in whatever grade. It was eighth grade. What the was- doctor do? I just like, ignored the kid with a boner. Somebody told me when I was a kid that if that happened, they'd smack it with a spoon. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> that, yeah, that'll I've, keep it down. That stuck with me for a long time. If you keep playing with it, it's going to fall off. <laughs> if so you get a boner, they'll shoot it. How long was your procedure? Because I, because I remember being terrified of mm-hmm. having it done. But you pull your pants down, they walk up and they go, uh, uh, and then it was over. Like, what are they for, f- fiddling with your junk? For me, you sure it was a doctor, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> no. Where was this at? I just had a friend's Under house. Under a bridge? <laughs> it was Barb. <laughs> it was in a van. <laughs> it was Barb down the street. She gave me a haircut and then a physical. Um, it was at church. It was at the confession I mean, place at church. <laughs> yeah, everything. I mean, goddamn, your hormones are just pumping. I get it, but that's so why I was worried about it, it. It got worked up, and then I started thinking about it. And it happened when she was. Do- I was laying down, and she was pushing like on my pelvic area. Like you got to feel for hernias. And oh stuff. yeah, okay, yeah. And that, that was the thing that aroused me. So then when it came oh. to checking my balls, the homie was already like he was there. He was like, hey, what's up? Yeah, t- it was a girl too. Huh? Table for three. Yeah, yeah. And if I remember right, she was kind of attractive, but I also have no idea. I remember. So I did have a, a physical one time, and it was with a woman, but she didn't do the the junk thing. She, but she did do the the push on the, the pushing thing. thing. Yeah. And I remember being like, Ugh, "This is so uncomfortable." That there was no mm-hmm. chance for arousal. Yeah. But so with your huge dingus, <laughs> that's like, what I was did thinking. Did you hit the guy in the forehead, or what? What happened? Yeah, I guess stabbed. Or was it that big back then? Stabbed her right in the eye. When did your failed my physical stop growing? Feel, failed my physical. It's still growing. It's one of the last things to stop growing. I think it grows. Mm-hmm. Your nose, your ears, and your ween grow forever, I think. What? That's bullshit. Mine's not. <laughs> shovelcock. It might be shovelcock. <laughs> you might you broke the, the guy, I don't know, it's like a growth bone in there or something. Um, okay. He's sitting maybe there I, thinking like, maybe I yanked on it too many times. <laughs> Could have been. Um, all right, let's move on to the next confession. Let's okay. not spend too much time talking about this. You want to you wanna handle this? Uh, this yeah, monster? I'll give this one a try. Okay. Hey, daddies. Now, see, now I'm all worked up. Mm. Uh, whenever I take a plane for a trip, I have a bad habit of taking the life preserver <laughs> on my flight home. I don't fly very often, but I've collected about a dozen over the last 20 years. Zach! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. He just reaches under the seat. Look, and what a weird addiction. <laughs> 
Can you imagine if they didn't check for those and you happen to be on the plane? Like, okay, prepare for a water landing uh, under your seat and you lift yours up and it's fucking gone. Or it's because like, this guy took it for no reason. Or you're like, oh, we're going to crash and you get up to get in. Sir, you can't get in your background. Now. Oh, I, I, have, I put the life preserver in. <laughs> right. No, no, I've got 13 or 14 in my carry-on. <laughs> well, no, I was thinking <laughs> I it, the one that's underneath. She's it's like, like it's underneath your seat. Actually, it's not. It's in my it's in my suitcase. <laughs> what? You're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. It's a crazy story I'll tell you after we crash. <laughs> but my life... <laughs> I have a thing. It's a whole thing. I have... <laughs> do to do. <laughs> Listen, we're going to be out there for a while <laughs> floating around. I've got all the time in the world. I'll tell you that. Right now, I'm going to need to get in this overhead bed and get my fucking life preserver. <laughs> life preserver. <laughs> She's like, okay, fair enough. Like, we could be out there for days. <laughs> <laughs> right? She's like, yeah, okay. And then just a reminder real quick. So the, the light automatically activates itself? Yeah, okay. I was worried about that. Like, what's he doing with all these? What's he doing with the dozen that he's collected? He's just got a room full of them. <laughs> like, you know, you mount like shit on the wall. Yeah. He's well, has a wall of mounted uh, aircraft light or life preservers. Like you, you license plates. and so all the places you've been. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's just like Delta Airlines. And- Maui. <laughs> yeah, it's like on my way to Atlanta. It's just a deflated shitty life preserver. We gotta preserver. know more about this. I don't know. I wanna hear more about this. That's the one I was thinking of earlier that just killed me. <laughs> it was bad <laughs> habit. I know, it's, he, he, it's like a, and the way he set it up, like it's something he like, he's like, oh, I'm just a, I can't stop doing yeah, it. Yeah, it's something I just can't help. You <laughs> it's know? just why I don't fly very often. I guess, you know, I, I steal one and then I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, before I, you know I it, just, I got a, I I started, got a whole bathtub full of them. I started taking trips just to steal the fucking life preserver. And I was going bankrupt. <laughs> it's hey, gotta, me. Hey, me. It's, it's me again. <laughs> that's, that's what he says as he's lifting up the, the fucking cushion. Hey, me. <laughs> it's me again. It's like to himself. <laughs> the person next was like, what the fuck? <laughs> as they slowly watch you pocket a life preserver. Like, how do you just sneak that thing out? And okay, so that's... Like if you had a, a bad habit of stealing oxygen masks, you're just like, one second. <laughs> yeah. You just yank, yank it out. It out all the tubes shut fly it, out. <laughs> shut it back up. Like, sorry, it's a bad habit. Sorry, it's just a thing. <laughs> it's just a bad habit. Because I, I, I visualize, you know, like when you go to, you go to a restaurant and let's say you you're you're looking at a menu or and you take it or whatever or you're on an airplane you steal the magazine from mm-hmm. the thing as weird as that is i still kind of get it cuz yeah. it's in it's visually it's in front of you right but you have to like and it's not like every flight you had to use a life preserver and you like <laughs> right. oh you didn't return it or mm-hmm. something like make sure when you're done with that, you put it back in the pile, mm-hmm. and you're like, "Oops, I forgot it." Whoopsies. Like you have to reach under there and like fucking steal it and put it, hide it. <laughs> you're getting on the plane; they know you now. Yeah, you're sneaking on, and they're all just the pilot comes out of the cockpit and just eyeballs you. <laughs> does does this number? Yeah, little like the eyes on you thing, and you're like, "Shit, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna steal my neighbors. I'm gonna like, steal more now. I love the thrill of it." Like, does he does he take it out and like put it under his shirt and go in the bathroom and like? <laughs> Put it underneath the shirt. Yeah. He's pulling it. He's at home fucking inflating. Yeah. Yeah. He's jerking off. And then right before he comes, <laughs> he has to self-inflate it. Yeah. Like, fuck. <laughs> that would be funny if he like, if he, if he wore it underneath shirts or whatever, like how bulky that guy is. And it's just an <laughs> airplane dude, life preserver. Is that dude ripped? Like, you hit in the gym, <laughs> pull it underneath your shirt. <laughs> what do you think? You think of me? Uh, okay, let's move on to the next. <laughs> arms confession. are tiny. Yeah, arms good are tiny. chest and R- pecs and fucking abs whatever and... these are. Oh yeah, I guess it just goes over your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, is that a deltoid? <laughs> sure, we can call it deltoid. I think that's a good good name for Delta-oid? it. Delta oid. Oh, you're playing no. stuff. Mm. All right, so our next confession it says, "Sup, dweebs." <laughs> so, uh, what's so, up, Colin? I have a confession <laughs> to make. When I was a senior in high school, my girlfriend at the time, <laughs> dweebs, sup, <laughs> <"Sup>, dweebs, <laughs> had a 13 year old. What's up, fucking worms? <laughs> That's one of my favorites. You call people worms. <laughs> What's up, you fucking worm? Uh, my girlfriend at the time had a 13-year-old little brother. Oh. One time, I was, shall we say, visiting late at night without her parents knowing. We had some fun, and after we were done, I went to take a dump. As one does. What's up, dweebs? <laughs> That's like something he'd say to me walking by after he fucked my sister. <laughs> Like on the way to sub take, dweeb, just sub fuck dweeb. your sister. <laughs> Left <laughs> the shit in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> like, rustle your hair and shove your head into the door frame. <laughs> sub dweeb, just fuck your sister. I'm gonna take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like oh, rub, rub your hand on their face. Yeah, you put it like that. Yeah, it smells like your sister's <laughs> fucking, fucking pussy, pussy dude. Hey, I'm gonna take a shit. Get lost, dude. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> Get a clue, you fucking worm. It's the scene, it, like <laughs> senior in high school, or it's like, like rom com kind yeah, of. Yeah, oh, it totally is. Yeah, you fucking so much you pussy. <laughs> It's your sister. Yeah, how's your sister's pussy taste? <laughs> <laughs> Loser dweeb. <laughs> All right, so anyway, uh, way to take it down. The way the bathroom was, the toilet was behind a wall from the rest of the room, and the shower was on the other side of that said wall. So I was sitting there, and far too late, I realized I didn't lock the door. I hear it open, and immediately, I hold my breath. And as I'm sitting there, and I know the layout of this bathroom. I've, I've seen this before. It's like a weird divider wall between everything, so you can kind of hide back there. Oh, okay. Uh, as I'm sitting there, not moving, because I had a belt that would jangle at the slightest shift uh, uh, shift hanging around my ankles, someone gets into the shower and turns it on. It goes pretty normal for a minute or two. I finally breathe a little bit, and I keep waiting for them to clean up and leave. Well, next thing I know, I hear someone beating off in the shower, and I know, <laughs> and I know who it is. Little brother of my girlfriend. What? Awkward and weird, but at least I know I can kick his ass and get out of there if I need to. Fucking dream. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pussy. <laughs> That's his pussy smell, you fucking pussy. Um, <laughs> if I need to. You smell like my ass. <laughs> then he starts moaning my girlfriend's name. Fucker was jerking off to thoughts of a sister. Oh, no. Who has uh, admittedly super hot, way out of my league. I'm sitting there five feet away from him as he's doing this. <laughs> pants, feet. Both holding a laugh and a fart. I love the pants feet reference. Pants feet. feet pants feet. Uh, <laughs> holding on a laugh and fart when the water turns off and I hear him driving or dry driving off. <laughs> <laughs> He's only thirteen. <laughs> he goes in an RV. Was it? I forgot to mention we we're in an RV. And I hear him drying off. <laughs> <laughs> now you're stuck in the RV with your pants down around your ankles. <laughs> pants feet. I'm sitting there waiting for him to leave when he turns the corner wrapped in a towel and is looking directly at me, horrified. <laughs> we both shush each other and he goes, have you been here the whole time? <laughs> me, being a genius and thinking quickly, I offer him a deal. I won't tell his sister that he gets off to her and he doesn't tell his parents that I got off on her. Pretty good deal. Well, he accepted. As far as I know, never broke the agreement. Neither did I. It's been a few years since then, and I ran into him at the store recently. We both had a laugh about it like old buddies and went our separate ways. The end. Fucking dweeb. Remember when you were jerking off to your sister? Off <laughs> how's, she, how's she doing? Remember when you were jerking off to your sister after I fucked her dude? After I yeah. fucked her dude and then shoved your head into the wall? And I was taking a shit while you're jerking off to your sister? <laughs> No, oh, old yeah. time, that, old hat. that old chestnut. Yeah, ah, old, old hat. <laughs> ah, just fucking with you. Enjoy your lasagna, dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> Hope that tortellina fucking rocks. <laughs> just fucking flips his plate over <laughs> in the store. Just a pushes a shopping cart over. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. it's like pushes him into like oh, the yeah. nails or something. <laughs> at Home Depot. <laughs> Oh, he goes, I have a good laugh. Fucking oh, man, that's so funny. He goes, anyway. And just fucking shoves him into the plywood. <laughs> See you later, fucking nerd. <laughs> All right, let's get on to the next confession. We have too many good ones oh, here. Oh, God. All right, you got this one. My pants <laughs> are falling it. down. Okay. Pants, feet. I have two confessions for you. Okay. This is a big one, so. The first up. one is a little embarrassing, but I've been, uh, been over it for a long time. Okay. 42 years old. And I still sleep with a teddy bear. Aww. Not sexually, at least not anymore. <laughs> hey. Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah. yeah. My parents gave it, uh, gave it to me when I was one years old. Okay, fine. The second one took place about 15 years ago. Wait, so that was the confession. That was, sorry, that was the first confession. Oh, okay. That he, he still sleep yeah. with a teddy bear. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I mean, that's fine with me. Yeah. Whatever makes you happy. Maybe whatever gets you to sleep. <laughs> yeah, whatever gets you to sleep at night. <laughs> like, you usually say that in a weird way, but mm-hmm. this one's supporting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, whatever helps you sleep at night. <laughs> but in this way, you're like, I know it's fine. Whatever, yeah, helps, no, you whatever sleep. helps you sleep. <laughs> the same night. phrase that means two wait, completely wait, different things. Mm-hmm, okay. Uh, the second one took place about 15 years ago when I was working in the graveyard shift and not sleeping well for almost two years. This made me incredibly cranky, uh, borderline crazy-ish. I get that. I lived in a small town. A small apartment. Small town. I was born <laughs> in a small, small town. town. Never left the small town. <laughs> I live in a small apartment complex, which had four units and off-street assigned parking. One day I woke up on my day off about 9.30 p.m. <laughs> 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 Top of the morning to you. <laughs> Let's see if Celebrity Family Feud's on. 
<laughs> oh shit! Good morning. Wonder if Nick at Night's on. <laughs> Nick at Night. <laughs> Mister Head. Oh god! I hope I love Lucy's <laughs> tonight. <sighs> 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 wow! Well, bet it was a beautiful sunset. <laughs> Missed another one. <laughs> Brian's gonna die. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my cheeks. Okay. Oh, whoo! I am so sweaty right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And <laughs> make the next line. Don't make me do <laughs> anything. Decide to go get some breakfast at KFC. <laughs> <laughs> How's the fucking bucket of chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, everybody. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so hot. <laughs> oh, God. You guys oh. just start puking. Okay. Okay. We got to. We can make it through. <laughs> just had to get some breakfast at KFC. <laughs> yeah, as one does. Yeah. Because that's how I roll. He says. Woo. <laughs> Bless you. All right. Okay. Uh, that was a cough. I know. Bless you. Uh, fuck. I'm so sweaty. That's okay. You look uh, good. I come back 20 minutes later, <laughs> and there's a very large pickup truck parked in my spot. At first, I thought <laughs> a friend from LA who came on uh, and announced... Vi- uh, what? Unannounced. <laughs> Came on unannounced and visit, uh, show off his new truck, okay. which he would do sometimes, so that made sense. How many fucking new trucks does he get and just show up? <laughs> Look what I got this week. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I got I got a couple of those people in my life that every time I see them, every few months, they have a new <sighs> vehicle. I have no mm. idea how, how they are alive. How are you affording this? Mm-hmm. Please stop. Your family misses you. <sighs> Your family misses you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So I park behind the truck and go to my apartment, but my friend isn't there. So I call my buddy just to make sure. Dude, I see your truck outside. <laughs> Is that sick, dude? <laughs> Fucking sick, dude. Right, he confirms that, uh, no, it's not him. He's up in LA working. Okay. So I hang up and immediately lose my shit due to lack of sleep, and I don't want any irrational... Uh, oh, I, I, I do, do what any irrational sleep-deprived maniac would do. <laughs> I went to my room, grabbed my megaphone and my pocket <laughs> knife... <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Mm -hmm. I went out to the red truck and yelled into the megaphone, whoever is parked in an unassigned spot needs to move now. Mm. With an exclamation point. Mm -hmm. I did this loud enough and long enough, about 15 (laughs) minutes, for somebody a block down the street to come up and tell me to (laughs) shut the fuck up. And that just pushed me over the edge, unfortunately. (sighs) I asked him if it was his truck, and he said no, and to (laughs) shut up. up. (laughs) <laughs> I then proceeded to slash all four tires of the truck parked in my spot. Good God. Yikes. I take my vehicle and found a parking lot uh, about a uh, spot about two blocks away from my home and went inside to eat my KFC, <laughs> smoke pot, and play video games. Mm-hmm. You know, the normal stuff you do after you lose your mind. Normal things you do when you wake up. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, a couple hundred dollars in property damage. Mm-hmm. But I tell you what, it worked. That truck was gone when I left the house the next day and never parked in my spot again. Also, I didn't park in that, uh, in my spot again until I moved because later when I was thinking more clearly, I realized that the owner of the truck might take revenge on the car that was parked in the spot next time he went by. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I spent the next couple of weeks wondering when the cops would show up, but they never did. And apparently I got away with it scot-free. Mm-hmm. The lesson of the story is don't park in unsigned parking spots that aren't yours, and also don't slash the tires of people parked in your spot. Otherwise, you have to go park two blocks down the street until you move. Just want to let you know, I have a regular hours now uh, job now, and I'm no longer that crazy most of the time. Mm. Thanks again for putting on a great show and keeping me entertained. You guys make me laugh all the time. Mm. Well, you guys made, or you just made us laugh. Yeah, you made us die. Oh, dude. Dude. That, and I, I can see that neighbor, too. You know, because he's, he's up, you know, it's probably what, 10 o'clock, 10 p.m.? Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's just like, whoever's parked in the spot. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, God damn it, you put your slippers on and just walk, you know, kind of cold. Yeah. You're walking down there with your robe on. Unsure and what's going you on. You approach him like in the street light and you're like, hey, <laughs> you shut the fuck up, mm-hmm. please. Is that your car? No, shut the fuck up. And then waddle back to your car. Mm-hmm. I can see a perfect little scene. Oh man! And you, what's funny about that too is mm-hmm. I think I was laughing so hard because I used to work uh, 
three to midnight. Yeah. Uh, and so my days were way off to mm-hmm. what other people were used to. And so the waking up at 9.30 p.m. was so funny to me because it's like, yeah, you're starting your day when everyone else is going mm-hmm. to bed. Mm-hmm. So his, that the rationale is like, whoever fucking park, everyone else is like, <laughs> Dude, they've I been gotta, through the day. I got to wake up in five hours. Yeah, they've the been f- through the day going mm-hmm. to sleep and he's just getting his day started. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's really so fucking funny. It's so good. Uh, okay, on to our <clears> next <throat> confession. It says, oh. I met my wife while I was on a date with another chick. That's mm. fun. Fast forward to our first few weeks of dating. We go out drinking, and of course, the fucking bars had to close. So he ended up meeting up with my best friend of 20 ish years and this girl that he was dating or fucking. I couldn't keep track of his shit. Uh, and he's drinking at her parents' house, and they had a bar in the garage. So it's just the four of us, and we're all pretty fucking hammered at this point. My girlfriend got a call that her dad wasn't doing great and was in the hospital. So she ended up leaving to go see him. Keep in mind, we have only been seeing each other for a few weeks. That's why I didn't go. Now it's just us three, and everyone is damn near ready to pass out. My buddy and his girlfriend go inside, and I stay up to finish a few more drinks. Yes. Go ahead. I gotta, uh, I'm going yeah. to finish up this conversation. Mm. Just you sitting by yourself in a garage? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm a, I'll wrap this up. You're like, <laughs> all right, buddy. Good luck. I tried to call my girlfriend to see if she was coming back to get me, but she didn't answer any of my calls. So I decided to go in the house and lay down and wait for her. As soon as I walk in, all I can see is my buddy <clears throat> going to town with this girl. I'm like, my bad. <laughs> I'll oh, go, my bad, dude. I'm going to go back and hang out with Bush. <laughs> I, so I go, my bad. And I turn to go back to the bar in the garage. My buddy says, want to join? I'm fucking beyond wasted at this point. And of course, my dumb brain shuts off. And my dick takes control. Mm. So now I'm banging this chick. And my buddy is watching. All I can remember... <laughs> All I can remember is him urging me on. Afterwards, yeah, dude, get it, dude. <laughs> woo, you fucking worm. <laughs> Afterwards, I come back to reality and realize how much of a piece of shit I am. My phone rings and my girlfriend says that she's almost there, has been trying to get a hold of me for a while. She's ready to go home. I get outside and she pulls up. I stumble to the car, get inside, and she's crying. I figured, fuck, she knew. Well, it turns out that her dad just passed away. So now I'm feeling more like a piece of shit. Today, we are married. And I still don't feel comfortable about that shit. I just got, uh, I've got to be the worst boyfriend husband ever. I can't bear to tell her what I did uh, to this day. That was definitely my lowest point. Probably the drugs that my mom was doing when she had me. Thanks, guys. Hopefully she never hears this. And keep the shit show rolling. Your loyal listener and fuck up. That's, a, that's she, a lot. Taking a risk. Yeah. Man, if she ever hears that, that's pretty specific. What was his name? His name was. <laughs> yeah. His name was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I That's mean, two, and I, and I will throw this into his court. I'll give him a bone on this one. I mean, if, if it's within the first couple weeks, I mean, still super shitty, obviously. Um, like, you just, but I mean, if it's if it's going to be anywhere, right out the gate seems like a place to have that happen. And then you know, then you gotta you gotta button it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, I mean, it was the idea that. Take life advice. Like one from of me. her her worst days of her life. Mm-hmm. You get in, you're just like, that sucks about that. Guess what I just did? <laughs> She's like, oh my god, that's terrible. I got some good news though. I just have fucked my buddy's friend. Was he was like, good job. Yeah, and he's complimented me on how good I was. <laughs> he said I did a really good <laughs> he job. Said I did a really good job. She's just staring at you, and you're just <laughs> so drunk. So that's that looks good for you <laughs> <Bummer>. because. <laughs> You he's really good at sex, and he said that I did a good job <laughs> mm-hmm. plowing his girlfriend. So when we get home, I'll make you forget all about your <laughs> yeah, dad. Yeah, you're going to forget all about it. <laughs> all right, we got one more confession before we move on, uh, and it's a shorty. You want to grab this one? <clears throat> I got it. Okay. Okay, guys, I have plenty of confessions, but I'll tell you one thing I've, I've never told anyone. Okay. I smell my own panties every time I go to the bathroom or change. Ooh. I know it sounds gross, but I like my scent and finding it com- find it comforting. Okay. Also, it changes sometimes, so it's a curiosity thing. Okay. Enjoy this juicy pun intended gossip and keep making me laugh. Interesting. I mean, you be you be lying, everybody. If you didn't do a little scratch and then sniff. Oh yeah, yeah. You see it like ooh, like it's usually like a ooh, <laughs> especially with sweaty balls. Mm. <sighs> Dude, every, if I have an itch time. or something, I'll go like, uh, like itch and I'll go. You'll yeah. sniff? Yeah. That's I, so, I know. What, what is that? I sniff things, though. We get a sniffer? Because yeah. we're animals. That's why. Because, animals yeah. do that, too. Like, you even if that, I. And you're like, huh, I wonder what's going on down there. Like, I always, like, one little, like, <laughs> just to see what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make sure it's. Uh, what, and then what if it. Like, what do you, But what do you do differently if you don't sniff it? That's what's always been the mystery to me. Where you're like, ooh. Or you're like, huh. And you, you still do nothing. 
and carry on yeah, with your day. Yeah, like you ever, you never like have a plan for like, well, that's fucking terrible. Here, I got ABC to do yeah, now. Now you what just, do I do? You're just like, because well, that sucks. There I'm is picking a my wash nose. in your balls. <laughs> yeah, well, you need like a little bird bath. But if I'm picking my nose or something, I get it and be like, mm. you smell the so, nose. Sometimes like, you're already uh, smelling it. It's in there. No, it smells different. <laughs> Once it gets oxidized, yeah. So then you're like, yeah, and then you roll it up and flick it, <laughs> or <laughs> and throw uh, it a poster, or like you you g- get mm-hmm. in your ear and then I, never, yeah. I don't know. That's, that's no no sniffy there. Yeah, Zach, you sniffing earwax and boogers? No, I have never done that. But ball stuff for sure. Yeah. Everyone does that. Yeah, I'm gonna sniff my earwax and s- boogers when I get home. Uh, there's something <laughs> I'm not like. Well, Always take earwax and shove it in my nose. It's like a oh what is, what am I oh you ever do that where you're <laughs> no. just like oh <laughs> my god that smells <laughs> like. So weird. <laughs> you have like some ginger that you like, mm. like cleanse your palate. Yeah, you like, cleanse it. That's a hint of nuts. Mm. You get it? That was a good one. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm a sniffer. Yeah, I bet you there's a lot of people. I don't think you're alone. But not in like a sex, not like a sexual like. Um, so I don't find it comforting. I don't enjoy my scent. Curiosity thing. I guess maybe I can't explain why people do it. I like the fart thing. Like if you I smell fart, your own farts. Oh yeah. What? It's my yeah. favorite brand. I want to know what's going on, like because it always it's always changing. Sometimes if I drink a lot of coffee, there's like a hint of coffee in there. What? Yeah, coffee butt. Mm-hmm. Do you ever put your significance, your significant other's head under the blanket after you fart? Oh. Just give no, me a little the love. No, no, when I don't, I don't do that. I just like I'll. <laughs> I'm ma- already have no chance at sex. I I'm squeak gonna... it out and then it, like <laughs> I let it creep up through the covers. And you just do this number. We have your your eyes peeking over at no, her. Sometimes what I'll do eyes. is like what I do is Here I'll fart comes. because it's so it's like it's one thing to like do it and trap. It's like ah. ah! So what I usually like to do is like fart and then be like, oh, and like act oh, like I'm rolling over it. and like and like flip the cover to w- send it over, <laughs> waft it over to her. Yeah, like a like a fucking dirty sailboat. Yeah, like but I don't like I don't smell like other people's farts. Mm-hmm. You smell it and I'm like, oh, that's other people's <laughs> ass. But yeah, like Terrible. my own farts, I'm like, oof, Ooh, it's Kirkland. I'm looking yeah. for that name brand. Yeah, shit. I want that Sam's Club. Uh, but I, I don't think you're alone. Doctor Thunder. I want Doctor Pepper. Yeah, Mister Pip, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Ooh, that's good though. That's true. Um, I don't think you're alone in, in sniffing your panties. Uh, I just don't do it. But if you if you're a girl out there sniffing panties, let's let's pull the audience. Hey guys, at CandyDon'tPodcast.com. All right, I've got some you good s- news. Do you smell? Do you like your significant others smell? I don't smell panties. I'm not a panty yeah. smeller. I've never been. Like Zach? even if I see some panties laying around, I'm not picking up and smelling no. them. Hmm? No, I'm not as panties. Yeah, me either. We don't, but you do all the other things, but don't sniff your wife's panties. No, I mean, no. I don't mean like sneaking away like a little, like, the, <laughs> like a little creep, <laughs> like the like the hamburger. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. oh. Hey me, <laughs> hey me, it's me again. <laughs> okay, honey, I'll be right back. Squeak, <laughs> squeak. <laughs> 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 okay. I mean, I have, but it's not. It's not like I don't see panties. I'm like, oh, give me those panties. <laughs> But, and, but it's never like, whenever I do, it's not like, get up in there and smell it. It's a, it's kind of like a curious, like, <laughs> w- like what is that? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's like a mm. little Robert De Niro. Mm. You're like, hey, shoes. <laughs> hey, shoes. <laughs> like, yeah, this could use a little, a little more lemon. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's move on to it's some good curious, news. It's a curious. Yeah, it's oh, okay. a curious George, but a curious Brian. <clears throat> I get it. Mm. I used to, yeah, I smell an earwax. I've never done that one. Mm. I like that about it. Like you. if you get a, a Q-tip. I don't no. do it because I don't. Q-tip. They say you shouldn't do it, but you know, like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, never done it. That's wild. Even though I know what it's going to smell like. I'll try. Yeah. What's this it's like? not something I'm like, I think about it. It's just like a reaction. Wait. It's can't like, wait to get out of the shower oh, and yeah, like, smell my earwax. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a thing that's like, oh, I can't wait to do it. It's just mm-hmm. like a curious, like, I wonder what that smells like. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's probably, that's kind of what I, that's about what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Same as last time. And then move on. Not yeah. nearly as funny as farts. Can't wait till I get home. I know. I'm. I'm. I'll. I'll sniff the, my earwax. The thing about farts is they're always different. I know. So it's like it's a you're little a nice fan. surprise of what you're gonna get. <laughs> you don't know. You never know what you're going. You it's like a box of chocolates. Yeah, it's a box of fart pants. <laughs> Fartlets. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I have some good news. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's roll it. So you're telling me there's a chance? Hooray! We aren't doomed. Yeah. And this is kind of twofold. One, did you know you could even rent DVDs still, like from an online service? No, that's, that's how we there. got started on Netflix, so I remember that. That's what this is all oh. about. So there's a DVD.com is apparently still owned by Netflix. And you could go there and you could rent DVDs and they'd send you in the famous red envelope, right? 
Um, and then they just announced something that I think is pretty cool, which I would not ex- expect from Netflix. Oh, but, but wow. here you go. So a little background said Netflix was originally a mail order DVD rental service. All you young ones out there that had no idea. It wasn't just streaming. Mm -hmm. They kind of changed everything. And that business still exists, at least for a few more weeks. Back in April, the streaming giant announced that it'd be shutting down DVD.com on September 29th of this year after 25 years of mailing discs in red envelopes. But what subscribers... Uh, but what mm-hmm. subscribers remain have just received some happy news. We've decided to wind down DVD.com later this year. Our goal has always been to provide the best service for our members, but as the business continues to shrink, that's going to become increasingly difficult. But those discs, consumers will get to keep them for free. That's crazy. Yay. I know. I just didn't expect I, Netflix to be like, if you don't give them back, we're fucking coming for you. Mm-hmm. Someone's going to show up at your door. I'm like, you share a password. You share a password. Are you sharing a password? I can't believe they made it through all that shit. Like they're doing everything that like watchers and users of their service don't want them to do. And they're just like and and they still are everybody stayed. I mean, I it, you pretty- can't you can't do that forever, but like <clears throat> I get the cracking down. It's, it's a, and it's kind of like yeah. I mean, I've had this conversation. It's going to be a little bit of a of a ramp, but not too bad. Like working in the audio field and the graphic design, you have Adobe, right? And then in the audio field, you have Avid, who makes Pro Tools and shit. And they are so strict. Like it, it especially Pro Tools. It's fucking terrible. Awful. Everything has to be connected all the time. Uh, before you could do online keys, you had to have a physical USB iLock thing with a password mm-hmm. plugged in. If you didn't fucking have it, you couldn't use the program. And not only could you not use the program, you couldn't use any of the programs, like the plugins inside the program, because not all those keys were saved on your stupid fucking hard drive. So if you ever lost that thing, you lost everything. And it's a tiny little hard drive. So you have to carry it around everywhere with you because you're not just mixing in one spot. And then you could only have it on like one computer. Then you Mm -hmm. had to buy it to have it all your shit on one of your own computers in a different room. And I used to be like, as you can tell, it's so fucking annoying. Really? But then on the other side of that... If you are the software company and you put all these yeah. millions and millions and you're one of the companies that makes the plugins, whatever you're using for your audio stuff to, to alter that or guitar or tune or EQ, whatever it is, like if you just let it go, you're never making money off of it ever. Like that's, you have to do that in order to, to make money. So I get that. It just seems like, I, I don't know why it seems like a little bit of a different beast when it comes to streaming. It probably shouldn't. I mean, movies have to put in all this money and work. So just allowing anybody to have it and watch it when there's no ads on it. So, I mean, I, I get that, but I don't know. It just know, seems I'm, like it's, it seems like it's, it, it wouldn't have worked in their favor, but I guess it did. Yeah. I, I, I've always been kind of like a, I'm, I'm not like a, um, people get mad about the crackdown. I'm always like, I mean, come on, like, it's 15 bucks a month or whatever, mm-hmm. like to get a lot of content. Cause I, as a creator, when someone just like hijacks your shit or like if you make, if you're a band or an artist and you make this music, you put all this time into it and people are just downloading it for free. Yep. And, and then when you get upset, people get mad at you. Yeah. You're like, dude, this is how I make a living. Mm-hmm. Why, why, why am I the asshole now? Because mm-hmm. I think I deserve compensation for something I created. Mm-hmm. And that's definitely a battle in this. Like, buy my song for a dollar. I know. It took me all this time to do it and money to spend to get it mixed and mastered and, and recorded and you're all like, this. Ugh. And you're, you can't spend 99 cents, but you're going to go wait in line for 30 minutes for an $8 coffee. <laughs> and you can't give me 99 cents. <laughs> and you can't for even. The, and for the hundreds and hundreds of hours I put yeah, into writing And I'm this. not even going to get the full compensation for it Mm -hmm. you know like i'm gonna get 69 cents of it or whatever just give me the fucking 70 cents for the my effort (laughs) just do it i know but it's uh it's really is cheap for what you get i'm sorry like paying 60 dollars for a video game here we go yeah like when you think about it it's expensive but when you think about all Mm -hmm. i could go i could go spend 60 dollars on dinner Oh, easy. and then I'm gonna shit it out tomorrow. <laughs> I buy a video game for sixty bucks. I have, I could, I have what? hours and hours and hours. Unless you eat it, unless you eat the case <clears throat> and the DVD or whatever, then you'll shit that out tomorrow. Yeah, but yeah. you still the game's still on your and it's console prob- and cheaper. 
than the dinner. So, I mean, there's that. I mean, the, a video game like Assassin's Creed, you go and spend 50 bucks, 60 bucks for it, and you can put 100 hours. Mm-hmm. Think of anything else in the world that you could put 100 hours of enjoyment into. Nothing. And what that would cost. Mm-hmm. I know. A vacation or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> come on. I don't know. It's like hot air balloon rides. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a so many hot air balloon rides. I, don't, I think what people don't think about is like all the people that work on something, they're all getting, they have to be paid too. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's not like it magically came down from the game heavens and you're like, oh, I have to spend $60. Like, all these people have jobs. You're paying for all this shit. I mean, what's the uh, the budget for the upcoming Grand Theft Auto is in the billions? <laughs> like, they know how much surprised. money, I know, you know how much money they're going to make back. Because that's it always does. It's always the best game that's ever been made. Mm-hmm. That's just how Rockstar does and it. And the anticipation. Mm-hmm. Um, so, that, I mean... Think about all of that. It's billions going in. You're like, fucking 60 bucks? Yeah. That shit sucks. I don't like that fucking wall didn't even load. Dumb. Um, all right, we got to move on to something that I... Uh, actually, I didn't find it. I knew this was out there, but Michael brought it to my attention, and I think that we should go. Okay. All right, let's do it, Zach! The internet is pretty wild. Depending on your browsing habits, you can either experience something super cool or go to prison. Crazy, right? Let's check it out, together, as a couple. Hey, look what I found. Yes! That's awesome! Real quick, Mm -hmm. just want to say something, because we were talking about it before the show. Zach has his Scatcast stuff. He... He's a, he creates all sorts of cool shit for all the shows he has, mm-hmm. and he spends hours and hours and hours and hours on these fun little things, and that and people buy from him. And it's like, as someone like him, I know how much he appreciates it, appreciates someone buying something that he made because of all the time and effort that he put into it, and it makes it worthwhile if someone buys that thing, and and he you know that you cared enough to purchase something from somebody who worked so hard on something oh absolutely and yeah. uh Thank and you. from a guy like i know the guy works tirelessly on shit to uh to for people's enjoyment and so someone willing to go out there and buy that it's a i don't know there's a that give and take like the person gets something cool in return zach gets compensated in for return the, for the effort of yeah. making it for that person yeah. that's how the transaction should be no, absolutely, so. and, and allows Zach to keep doing and making awesome things that yeah. that the community is enjoying. That's one of the best Scatcast commercials I've ever heard. Thank you. Of course, <laughs> Scatcast dot com. Scatcast with a K. Don't you got it? Support um, your creators. Just fucking do it, please. Give me your seventy cent. <laughs> so I'm gonna want I'm gonna want you guys to seriously consider going to this event. This was sent in by our son Michael. I've seen it floating around. Maybe you guys have too. But every Fourth of July in Alaska, so I think it's an hour and a half just outside of Anchorage. So this is going to be an airport we could fly to you guys. They have the Alaska car launch. Okay. Mess. Now they just, they find a way to pin down the throttle of the, you know, the gas pedal of the vehicles. Oh, there's not somebody in it. No, they, fucking pussies. and they have a track that makes sure it goes straight. And then they throw these things down off a 3000 or a 3000, 300 foot cliff in front of a cloud, a crowd of thousands. And 300 in front of a cloud. And three, dude, I'm three, gonna, 3, 3,000 feet in front of a cloud. Are you fucking July. kidding me? And welcome back <laughs> so I'm just going to find a couple examples. you got to look this stuff ramped. up. They okay, so they got a couple of the jumps. Let's see when so they... They got a bunch of cars here. These things go flying. This is the man that's the reason this whole event happened. Okay, so they're setting it up. That's exactly second. what I thought he would look like. <laughs> is it him? Up to the t- All right, come on. National Anthem out. Dude, oh shit. <laughs> That's a weekend fun time. Isn't that ridiculous? And listen to the crowd. Look at all the people. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Oh, dude, that looks like so much fun. We got to start this in Idaho. I know. Listen to that crowd. He just hears it. (laughs) Somebody built that car with love. Yeah. 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 Okay, so anyway, you can look up Alaskan car jump. That's fucking awesome. For yourself, you can go check that what, out. When is that, July? Uh, yeah, is it's it? on July 4th. So oh, right. We'll have the day off. Next <laughs> next year. <laughs> fucking, let's do it. Let's do a can you don't version Yeah, do a that. can you don't <laughs> can you don't version. I'll just say at least start with a like a meetup in Anchorage. Fuck it, let's find for some For anybody cars. that wants to. I was going to say start with a car. Yeah, let's start there. See, now 
if you didn't die from being, you could like imagine if you were actually driving that car. <laughs> you yeah. how much of a hero, and then you just shoot yourself out through the windshield <laughs> with a cape on. Yeah, or you fall out and it crashes. You stand out yeah. and you get in a cannon, and they shoot uh, you back, back up, up the, the top, and you get in the next car. Yeah, how amazing so would that would be if you jump and tumble and all that, and then you get out of the car and you, yeah. you put your arms up? The crowd, they would be going, they were going nuts for n- like, not a someone person. not driving a car. They're going fucking crazy, and then you just walk over with your cape and your star helmet on and do and an climb, interview, climb into a cannon, <laughs> dude, shoot back up the thing with a, and there's an interview going on. Up or there. doing a mic, like doing an interview while you're flying up mm-hmm. the cliffside. Here I am in the belly of the beast. <laughs> I'm about to get inside the car. <laughs> All right, let's read an email. I'm not sure if we'll have time for both, but uh, let's get into Hey Guys. All right. Zacky Poo. Hey, you guys! <laughs> All right, let's hear what you guys think. Really? You want to talk to me? Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I think we have time for both. Um, this first email is coming in from our son, Christopher. Christopher. It says, hey, daddies. Daddies. Listening to the newest episode, you guys were talking about Dyson making headphones. And we're a little confused. Remember that one? Yep. Said, well, just so you know, General Electric, the maker of toasters, washers, and dryers, refrigerators, you know it, is also the creator of the GAU-8 gun that's mounted onto the 10 Warthog. That's right. A-10 Warthog. A-10, yeah. K-10, oh, yeah. A-10 Warthog. That's right. The same people that make a washer and dryer to restore clothes also make a weapon to make stuff disappear. <laughs> Huge fan of the show. Fuck you guys. I love that. Makes things disappear. They yeah, also I, make nuclear weapons too, right? Yeah, and I had a link. I mean, it's the it's the classic sound that you hear whenever you hear like a fast gun, just like that. Like, like it's so fast and mm-hmm. scary. And they have videos of it. And then, yeah, General Electric back in, what, the 40s. And then uh, they still use it. I want to I say it was the 40s. I think it was, it was for World War. No, it's for the Cold War. So I think late 60s. Um they uh they were they made it to try and compete with uh you know with Russia and they still use that gun today like they have a new version of the war that good and they just mount it right in front they don't make them like they used to no. <laughs> they don't make them disappear like they used to like they have a different name for the GAU 8 gun but um like also like naval ships use it with like radar tracking technology to shoot down like drones and shit mm. and missiles that are going f- like Mach 4 and this gun just cat calibrates it perfectly and shoots it from like mm. two kilometers away. Is that one of those? <laughs> seen the video of like an airplane flying and it's just going. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's spraying yeah, that bullets. Is, that's the. It's the exact one you're thinking it's of. It's trying to like it's mm-hmm. it's works by itself. The tracers, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And you just see the the bullets going. <laughs> and you watch videos of the damage it does. It is so insane. And I pr- can imagine how expensive that must be to for yeah. a little bit of fun. It was like thousand. Uh, yeah, each bullet's going out. It's just like ding, 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 <laughs> yeah, ding. Fucking a million dollars for for one one like thirty seconds of fun. Yeah. All right, you want to read the next one? Sure. Okay. All right. The second one's coming in from our fair ride loving daughter Alicia. Okay. Hey, daddies. Hey. I was just listening to your last episode where you're talking about every fairground having a graveyard. <laughs> Forgot about that. Well, well, mine does. Okay. Oh, God. A close friend of mine's granny had a house that had been passed down through generations about three miles from our house, uh, where they eventually put the fairgrounds uh, of our con- county, mm-hmm. which technically included her property. Well, as you can guess, back in the day, they would just <laughs> bury their loved ones out back in their own little cemetery, which is still there. <laughs> Throw up a cross. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're on the tilt a whirl and you're just like right next to here lies Odin. Yeah. Or whatever. Here lies Cletus. Yeah. Cletus McFarmer pants. <laughs> Cletus McCattle herder. <laughs> Rest in peace. And you're just like, fuck. Like every spin, you're like, this is kind of weird. <laughs> if I fly off, I'm going to hit Cletus. <laughs> I'm going to end up with Cletus. <laughs> end up with Cletus. Uh, okay, uh, the, 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 where, where is that? Well, as you can guess, back in the day, it was just bare low and a little yeah. cemetery. Second paragraph. Uh, fun fact, last time I went there, uh, the fair, I rode a ride where I was absolutely sure I was going to fall to my death. Mm-hmm. It was one of those rides with just one big arm in each, oh, and had four seats and two sets of two back. We get on there and they strap us in, in quotations. Strap us in. Well, these damn levers they pulled over our heads had no security straps at all. Mm. So if the damn thing released, you're just flying through the air like a damn used chicken bone. 
<laughs> and of course, when they stopped the ride, we got stuck up on top. And let me tell you, they took their sweet ass time getting those bottom people off. They always do. <sighs> my knees were shaking and I couldn't feel my hands by the time I finally got off. Needless to say, I haven't rode a single fair ride since. Yeah. It's not like everyone's got a similar. Someone's got a fair ride story. Uh, anyways, love you guys. Keep, uh, keep me going through the tough weeks. Keep up the awesomeness. Your terrified daughter, Alicia L. Kentucky. 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 Kentucky, but I'm glad you survived. <laughs> But I, I mean, I love knowing at least out there somewhere, there's a fairgrounds that has a graveyard. Mm-hmm. That is just music to my ears. Cletus T. Mc- Farmer Pants. <laughs> Cletus McCattle Herder. McCattle, Cletus, Cletus Mc- McCattle Prod. <laughs> Cletus McDied of Cholera. <laughs> McDiarrhea. <laughs> McDiarrhea Death. Uh, thanks to everybody. Episode 65. That's it. It's in the books. Man, laugh so hard. I got a little ripe. Yeah, over I, here. I can smell my. Well, Oof. yeah, and I enjoy it. Yeah, I'm, you do. You're over sniffing mm, my panties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got earwax I can sniff yeah. after the show. Got oh, your, the can... ear pieces. Oh, yeah. I dug some earwax out earlier. You could have mm. that. Um, remember. Or not other people's. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> that's crazy talk. Uh, as of recording right now, we have over 25 hours of bonus content. Support us on Patreon to get, that, uh, get access to that content, plus everything that we do after every show. You can hear it no matter what tier you pick. There's three of them there. Head to patreon.com slash can you don't podcast. Got a link in the episode description as well. And then just like Brian was saying about Uncle Zach, tons of great stuff happening at Scatcast. Head on over there. Check out all the hard work, all the shows he does. Just added a new music show in there. I uh, I did a little fun thing with him on that last week, right, Zachy Poo? Yeah, it was awesome. Thank you for what that. What are you doing? What's, give me the music thing a little bit better. It's unsigned bands. Yeah, we're trying to be a filter for the millions of artists out there. Give our audience what we think are really great artists from different genres. Gotcha. Every every Saturday. Okay. Yeah, all unsigned. So send us to info at scatcast.com if you got an unsigned band that you want us to play. Okay, perfect. But and not your shitty local band that you're in, okay? Yeah, if it's recorded on a potato, we don't want it. <laughs> if we could tell, use the microwave for the vocals. <laughs> Don't send it in. <laughs> Most uh, of my music sounds like that, though. So anyway. <laughs> it's on uh, purpose, though. Yeah, style. Scatcast.com. That's scat with a K. So don't fuck that up. Thanks to the babysitters who run the Can You Don't Playground on the Facebook page. Um, send stuff in. Next week, we are doing a, a lap time with Uncle Zach again. Oh. Looking forward to that. Yay. Uh, and you can send in content for that segment or any other segment to hey guys at canyoudon'tpodcast.com. Then rate, review the show wherever. All right, going to wrap things up with a dad joke. Mm. You ready to hear it? Mm-hmm. Let's fucking do it, dude. Good God. Wrap it up already, huh? Sent in by our daughter, Casey. <laughs> Here we go. I bought my blind friend a cheese grater for his birthday. He said it's the most violent book he's ever read. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay. I bought my blind friend a cheese grater for his birthday. Oh. He said it's the most violent book he's ever read. Got it. You get it? Yep. Shreddy McShredder says, yeah. like the scariest thing to read in Braille is yeah. do not touch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ooh, <laughs> shit. Oops. <laughs> oh, what's this? Do uh, uh, And you just retract the fingers. You're like, fuck. Yeah. Or wet paint. You're like, oh, damn it. Mm. <laughs> wet paint. Do not touch. Bloody. Fuck me. All right. For the gaggle, we'll keep going. Kids, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.